Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens. If you have a senior loved one who is getting ready to move into a senior facility, knowledge is power, and that's what Elder Advisors is all about, making that transition nice and smooth. With me now is Larry Weiss, who is the owner and president of Elder Advisors. Larry, welcome back to the show. Thank you, John. Thank you. Is it another magnificent Monday like it was last time? It's always magnificent Monday when you're in the house, Larry. It's true, John. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Barb loved me so much at reception. It was quite a greeting. A little cheese plate. I didn't have time to go into the green room, but it was well worth noting that Barb at reception took care of me, unlike my personal assistant here at Wave 3, <laughs> Garrett Morris. Uh, he, there wasn't a ball in the building, but if there was, he would have dropped it. Drop the ball big time. But you and I together, we never drop that ball. Baby, we're simpatico right we here. Got it, we got it happen we're right good. here. That's we're right. Good. And we're going to tell you about elder advisors and exactly what they do. I, I said transition to a senior care facility, you make it smooth. But there's a lot of moving parts there. there. Is. And we can kid, but you're very passionate about I making am. sure your clients are taken care of. Absolutely. Tell me about that. Well, first of all, for the viewers that haven't perhaps caught uh, our episodes when we're on the program today, is what elder advisors does is we help families transition their loved ones from their homes to assisted living or home health care if they're veterans or spouse of veterans help them qualify for benefits using financial and legal strategies to protect their assets so they don't go broke in a nursing home. And we're going to be talking about that tonight. We have our workshops tonight, this evening at 6 o'clock at the uh, Four Points by Sheraton on Crittenden Drive and tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock at the Hampton Inn over in Clarksville. But when we're doing the workshops, uh, because I am high energy and it's only because I'm so beautiful and humble, and that's quite a mix, beauty and hum <laughs> humble, humility, whatever. But I focus, I try to struggle for it, but uh, it is a serious subject. It is a serious subject, and I kind of like to open the workshop by asking people, is it okay if we have fun tonight? And, you know, usually the, the answer is yes, um, because this is a serious subject. And for me, it's kind of a stress reliever because you never really have to know what kind of mood Larry is in. You can tell by looking at me. I would never play cards because I would be terrible because I don't have a poker face. <laughs> terrible. You can pretty much read what mood I'm in. But... Uh, we're going to kind of get into some nitty-gritty details in a minute, but that's why I'm really delighted in the second segment. And there's that handsome Steve Langdon. Is he the most handsome man in the world up on the television monitor right now? He is a good-looking man. Is, oh, there's a handsome one right there. He's a player in the yellow. He is drawn to gorgeous. <laughs> I've completely forgot about Steve Langdon now that I see that Larry Weiss up there moving in yellow. And, of course, I would be remiss if I didn't just sing the praise of Denise Manike up there in her beautiful dress. You know, Denise is our secret weapon at Elder Advisors. She's a former 10-year Medica Medicaid supervisor with the state. And at Kentucky, typically they would pre the agents, the, uh, the employees at the state are typically predisposed to deny applications for benefits. So we work with the guys that we're going to show you how to correct and actually accomplish that by protecting assets. That's what we talk about at the workshop tonight. But also, and we're going to kind of go back and forth on this first segment with some questions, but I do want to segue back to Nancy Galloway at the second segment today is because, you know, much like I, I tell people in the show, I always want to be the dumbest person in the room, and I want to surround myself with top, with top talent, whether that's Rodifer Moss Accounting, Fancy Fulton for REMAX in Indiana, Jeffers in Kentucky, our Medicaid realtors, and much like Nancy, she does the home health care component. Well, sometimes when a family reaches out to me, I realize that they're not yet ready to go to that threshold of long-term care they may just benefit from some home health care, having some professionals come in and do that. And that's what Nancy Galloway, Senior Helpers, really helps accomplish for families. So with the proper care at the home, they may not need to go to long-term care. Because all too often what happens, and Nancy can kind of go into this in more detail, is the children, because they're busy, they're the sandwich generation, they're using the TV as the babysitter for mom and dad. And mom and dad degrade mentally socially with their skills because the TV can only do so much. Unless they're watching this show. Well, of course. I mean, this show is just effervescence with beauty and knowledge. activism for people. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right now the viewers at home in Louisville, tell me the truth, who's the more beautiful man? And people's heads are exploding right now, John. Is it John or is it Larry? I'm thinking it's Larry. I'm, I'm, thinking, thinking, it's Larry. I'm thinking it's Larry. I'm okay with that. <laughs> you, because you're a good man. Well, uh, tonight at your workshop and yeah. in the morning as well. Yes, yes. One of the big topics is asset protection. Yes. So when you talk about asset protection, I normally think of, a, of your home and your possessions, but it's more than that, isn't it, Larry? It can be anything of value um, because what I, I'm, I'm always key to tell people is I'm not here to show you how to make money. I'm here to show you how to minimize loss and protect those assets and avoid surprises, and whether it's your home or your car or a life insurance policy. Yes, a life insurance policy counts as an asset. Now, I'm talking about cash value policies that they might have with Western Southern, Prudential, MetLife, that they've had for 45 years. 
those count as an asset. And Denise would be the first to tell you when she was still a caseworker with the state, is that's one of the first things they would look for. And if they found cash value in that policy with more than $2,000, for the caseworkers, pretty much just stop. We're not going to go any further with the application because you're over resource. And then the family's drowning. They don't know what to do, and they're like deer in the headlights. Denise and I know how to navigate through that with Steve Langdon and Neely Stevenson to turn what is otherwise an asset into a protected asset so it doesn't prevent them from qualifying for benefits. Fantastic. Now, when you say asset protection, there's another component there, and that's financial planning. Don't go broke in a nursing home. Right. That is your slogan. It's copyrighted as well. Yes, as I really shouldn't even. I'm not even comfortable with you saying on the air, <laughs> but because I'm a lover, John, I'm going to let you do it for today. All right. Don't go broke in a nursing home is a real thing. It is. And you've seen it happen often, and it can be avoided if financial planning is involved and you've got the legal team to help as well and your expertise, right, right. Larry? Yeah. Absolutely. And the reality is we help families every day when they're in a nursing home. Because when I tell people at the workshops, wait a minute, Jennifer, yeah, Jennifer, your mic is not as good as Tammy's. Jennifer, okay. Jennifer, the producer, was reminding me that, you know, we have our workshops tonight at the Four Points by Sheraton at 6 o'clock on Crittenden Drive, and, of course, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at the Hampton Inn on Clarksville across from Outback Steakhouse. But what I try to impress upon the attendees is keep an open mind. Keep an open mind and don't be so dismissive that nothing can be done. And I won't tell you how many times after the workshop, I'll, you know, someone will come by and say, well, we're not going to come in. I'll say, well, why? Well, mom's already in the nursing home. And I'm like, sir, did you not hear what Mr. Langdon, the attorney, said for the last two hours? We can protect assets. We do it all day long. Even if they're in a nursing home, we can protect assets. Now, what that may mean is we won't have the ability to protect as much assets as we would have if they got into us sooner, but we can always protect never too assets. Late. It is never too late unless they've already got down to that threshold of $2,000 and then qualify for Medicaid. Well, then they don't need our help. They went broke on their own. But for husbands and wives, this is so important. For husbands and wives, if one spouse is in the nursing home, the community spouse, the one that's still at home, we can protect all the assets and move everything over to the community spouse so they are made whole. They get to keep everything. For a single person, Louisville, we can protect about half of the assets. Well, half of something's better than all of nothing. Right. That's what we do every day at Elder Advisors. All right, we've had a number of your business partners on the show talking about their role with Elder Advisors, and they're all critical. Medicaid planning, you mentioned. Yeah. I'm assuming that's Denise's realm. And, and tell me a little bit about her background, because I think it's interesting. She was one of those kind of on the other side. Yes. And you said you understand how people can be manipulated, misled, or not given information. And well, for you, manipulated is your word. I, I said, okay, let's just yeah. say... How about this? Misguided. Misinformed? Yeah, misguided. misguided. Yeah, misguided, misinformed. So if you would, tell me exactly what you do and the answers that you can provide. Maybe not specifically, because that's, I know it's different for everyone, but what kind of answers do you look for? Well, Denise, when she was a Medicaid supervisor, right down here on Broadway at the Ellen Inn Building, she would be the first to tell you that when families came in, she would basically say, spend everything down to $2,000. She couldn't give them advice. She would basically send them back out in the community, and they would go broke. Well, insurance is what brought Denise and I together. Was it Jennifer? No, Jennifer, no, stop it. It's not Match.com. Uh, life insurance brought Denise Manick and I together because she was helping a family that had a cash value policy of about $4,500. Well, that's $2,500 more than the $2,000 allowance, the maximum that they can keep. So she reached out to me, and for time, I'm being very quick on this, but I was able to get that life insurance off the table for the family so it was no longer counted as an asset. So Denise is our secret weapon developer advisors because now she can help families, help them with all the components that need to be done from the financials to placement, everything where before the families were on their own. Yep. And until that's resolved, they're going through seven to $9,000 a month a month with nothing to show for it. So we hit the ground running with families. With the energy I have on television today, it's like this 24-7 because I treat these families as if they are mine. I want to get it done yesterday. Because what makes Elder Advisors unique is there is no one else out there. I was at an event last week and someone said, and this is true, and I had no problem saying it. She said, who's your competition? I said, I don't have any competition. I am the competition. Because the other people out there are trying to do that feel our heat because they're not doing it the correct way. They give the family some paperwork and they go, well, Mr. Smith, when you get all this done, you get into yeah. me. Mr. Smith doesn't have a clue how to get this stuff together. And until he does... He's writing checks for $7,500 a month, going broke in a nursing home with nothing to show for it. When our team of professionals gets involved, we have families collect what is needed. I've got five great people to work with me, so we hit the ground running so they're not on their own feeling all alone with this. Interesting. So there's a lot of, as I said, mis moving parts. And tonight, if you want some answers, there's a workshop tonight. There's the information up on the screen and tomorrow morning as well. So I'm talking about financial, Medicaid questions, uh, protecting your asset kind of questions, uh, legal 
questions Which as well. Steve you'll Langdon, McNeely Stevenson handles beautifully. Steve is the best. So you'll have professionals there to handle any questions you may have. Right. And of course, you start off with some really critical information. We do. And in this case, I do think that people don't understand there's much more to it than you may imagine. No idea. Yeah. yeah no idea. Yeah. You know, usually I have to tell you in all honesty, there's usually one heckler at the event, usually in Louisville, and someone will say, sir, I have a question. Do you highlight your hair? And I'm like, sir, that's a completely <laughs> inappropriate question. It's a personal choice. I'm enjoying my full head of hair, so I'm hoping Mr. Heckler doesn't show up tonight. All right. I, ho I hope not as well. <laughs> too much energy, too much good information, but I think that's the way it should be delivered because if it's handled correctly, this doesn't have to be a um, depressing time. Yeah. I mean, who do you want? Do you want someone that's a bump on a log that's, you know, just whatever, get it back to me, and you're already falling asleep, and you're, and you're already like... I really don't feel good working with this guy, but I'm kind of stuck with him anyway. Or do you someone's going to hit the ground running and get there it done? There you go. All right. I like, I like what you're saying. And coming up here, uh, we've got another message for you from Nancy Galloway. She's with Senior Helpers. So more good, more good information from Elder Advisors. Larry and Nancy will join me next on Way 3 Listens Live.